Hello everybody, so I just wanted to make a video to follow up on what I said yesterday. Uh, I wanted to correct a few things I spoke about and maybe add a couple points. So, um, the main thing I wanted to say was rega regarding Lot. Regarding Lot, um, I said that he was, I don't know if I said he was considered righteous in the video, but basically the main reason why he was saved from Sodom and Gomorrah this is what I researched. There's two reasons. One, because of the schut, the merit of Abraham, his uncle, because he's the nephew of Abraham, such a great man, that protected him. As well as the fact that he, he helped protect Abraham from the king when he told the king that Sarah was his wife. Uh, I, I told the king that Sarah was his sister so that the, so that the king wouldn't uh, get jealous and kill Abraham because Sarah was very beautiful. So, so Lot, but Lot, nonetheless, Lot did do, he wasn't considered righteous because he left Abraham. He didn't listen to Abraham's ways. And he went to Sodom. He went near to Sodom. And he, he basically left, the, left Abraham's holy place. And he went into the physical dark world and he left Abraham. And, and, and we're not just talking about going to like, a physical materialistic place no he went to the most evil place where giving charity was an act punishable by death in Sodom so he went to such an evil empire where people were just torture one another but the thing is he wasn't exactly he never what he went never went down to the level of Sodom and Gomorrah but nonetheless he he went towards there he was he was he was inclined towards there he gave in and so basically and then when he had the angels, he came, the, these mobs were trying to attack the house and he protected his guests. You weren't allowed to have visitors and feed them and he protected the angels, but he was willing to give up his daughters to the, to the, the mob of Sodom. And uh, so we learned from this in the Torah that basically he was protected mainly from the reason of being Abraham's nephew. He was not a righteous person, but... He had still good left in him, meaning that he, he, he took in guests at the house and he still had a little bit of Avraham Avinu within him and he never fully went down to the ways of Sodom. But nonetheless, he, Hashem for sure had much higher expectations from him than what he, he gave out. And he had much more potential than what he brought out to the world. And... Uh, Basically, uh, if I if I if I didn't if I left out anything, please correct me or or add to what I said. Another thing I want to add to was that I didn't really speak about yesterday is that after Abraham was asked to sacrifice Isaac, the angels came and said it was a test. You passed the test. Now God knows that you really love him. After that, Abraham was given a little bit of tranquility to an extent, and. Uh, and he married it because, pass, because he passed all these tests and he really was a man of sacrifice. Abraham was somebody who, if he had to do, make a sacrifice, he would do it. Whatever Hashem wanted, he would do it. Obviously, he wasn't... Uh, nobody likes to have to be tested. Like, nobody enjoys always being tested and it's scary and it's challenging. But nonetheless, Abraham pulled through with flying colors and, he, and because of that, he brought this light into the world. He created this beautiful covenant with the creator and we merit to be his grandchildren his great grandchildren we have that that spark we still have that covenant with us now more than ever now's the now's the grind time of the covenant and now is the really time where we push it we bring Mashiach to Kenu and um, and yeah and uh, that's basically what I wanted to speak about I'm going to be making another video today Bezrat Hashem and uh, yeah, so thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. God bless.